Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Tens of thousands of people in Brazil have held pro-democracy rallies in an angry response to the storming of Congress by ex-President Jair Bolsonaro's supporters. In the country's largest city of Sao Paulo, crowds chanted that Mr. Bolsonaro must go to prison. Brazilian police finally cleared the camps where Bolsonaro supporters had been staying around government buildings. About one and a half thousand people have been held over Sunday's riots in the capital, Brasilia. They came a week after President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva was sworn in after October's election that divided Brazil. The 77-year-old new leader, widely known as Lula, visited the damaged buildings of Congress, the Presidential Palace and Supreme Court, together with the country's governors, condemning the terrorist acts and vowing to punish the perpetrators. Mr. Bolsonaro has not admitted defeat in the tightly fought election and flew to the US before the handover on the 1st of January. On Monday, he was admitted to hospital in Florida with abdominal pains. At least 12 people have died following clashes in southern Peru after a resumption of protests demanding early elections and the release of the jailed former president, Pedro Castillo. The latest casualties take the death toll from anti-government clashes with security forces to 34 since the protest began in early December, following the removal and arrest of Castillo shortly after he tried to illegally dissolve Congress. Castillo is serving 18 months of pre-trial detention on charges of rebellion, which he denies. At least 38 people have been injured and hospitalized. Social media footage has shown protesters in Iran rallying outside a prison on the outskirts of the town of Kuraj, to the west of the capital Tehran. It comes after Iran's judiciary sentenced three more anti-government protesters to death. The footage, shot at night time, shows dozens gathered outside Rajai Shah prison chanting slogans against the country's ruling clerics. It comes after Iran hanged two other men on Saturday in its attempts to stamp out demonstrations. A five-year-old has been swept away by floodwaters in California as the state's death toll from a series of storms rose to 14. The boy and his mother were reportedly in a truck taking them to school when the vehicle was overcome by water. Tens of thousands remain without power and mass evacuations are underway with more cyclones to come. Footage posted on social media showed several vehicles covered by floodwaters in Morro Bay and here a street in Santa Barbara submerged in fast-moving waters. The trial of six men accused of involvement in the robbery at one of Europe's greatest art collections has appeared in court. They are accused of having stolen jewellery containing more than 4,300 diamonds valued at 113 million euros in 2019 from the Green Vault Museum in Dresden. Most of the jewellery has been recovered by German police. The judge presiding over the case said that the deal and the recovery of most of the jewellery could positively affect the sentence should the accused also admit to the crime. And the head of Spaceport Cornwall has said she is absolutely devastated after Britain's attempt to become the first European nation to launch satellites into space ended in bitter disappointment. Early on Tuesday, Virgin Orbit said its rocket had suffered an anomaly that prevented it from reaching orbit. The horizontal launch mission had left from the coastal town of Newquay in southwest England, with Virgin's Launcher 1 rocket carried under the wing of a modified Boeing 747 called Cosmic Girl and later released over the Atlantic Ocean. Absolutely devastated. Um, I, you know, we put our heart and soul into this and it's such a personal journey for me as well and my family were here. So yeah, it was pretty, pretty rough, um, but I feel okay feel okay and I think it'll just be a few days of just kind of letting it sink in a little bit. And if you look at one of the most successful launch companies right now, that's SpaceX, um, with a phenomenal launch rate, you only have to look at the early days to realise that they were very, very close to, um, to failing. Many of their early rockets failed. And when they get this right, and, and it is a when, it's not an if, uh, we will have a system that can essentially go to any large runway in the world and, and launch a satellite. This one, yeah, it didn't go right in the end, but there were a lot of steps on the way that did go right, and they'll be looking very, very carefully at what went wrong. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel's studios in Lagos.